Right, keep your eye on this woman in red holding her baby. This new surveillance video shows the moments that a van smashed through this busy Ross store in Burien. Right there, it's tough to watch. You can see that that mom and baby both get hit, but they miraculously survived. Camera 7's Didi's son spoke with that family, and Didi, they are still healing. They are, Lindsay, and they have a long way to go. So police say the getaway driver, he was parked right here. Supposedly, his girlfriend was trying to shoplift from this Ross. He was parked here about to get away. But instead of driving away, he drove right through the store. And you can still see the plywood covering up that window from damage. A total of 11 people were hurt, including one family just on the other side. Camera. This family was Christmas shopping before the holiday at the Ross in Burien. We go to leave and then... That's when it happened. Surveillance video shows you the unimaginable. Rachel Veneer is the woman in the red shirt holding her nine month old baby boy. Her husband, Chris Lowe, is in the white shirt. Then a van smashes through the store, running people over and sending others flying. Yeah. It was extremely loud. Yeah, the, the glass. I was in like a state of shock. This cell phone video shows you the chaos in the moments after the crash. People screaming and just crying and yelling. yelling. Taking you through the surveillance video again, you can see the force of the impact on this family. Chris is pushed off to the side, and Michelle is immediately launched into the air. She says her instinct kicked in, yeah. and all she knew was to protect her baby. I got him cradled in my arms, and I kind of just did like a fetal position and just hunched over him and did the best I could to shield him from whatever was coming. In the next frame, the jewelry counter looks like it's exploding. I couldn't walk around the, you know, finer, so it was really scary. Chris is under some debris here and manages to get up on his broken leg. It was bending a weird way. It was very painful. Rochelle was also hurt, but incredibly, baby Kingsley was basically unharmed. He had a little scrape. The family says seeing this video actually makes them feel lucky. It's truly amazing that we got out of it the way we did. An employee inside tells me she cannot stop thinking and seeing that video again and again in her mind. The suspect who was driving that van, his name is Lee Skelly. He pled not guilty to four counts of vehicular assault, among other charges last week. But tonight he is still in the King County Jail on a half million dollars bond. Live in Burien, DD Sun, Cairo 7 News.